Hello, my name is Janika and welcome to this travel vlog. I realized I never filmed an intro or outro, so I am doing it now afterwards. But in this video, we will be visiting the city of Cologne and the Christmas markets there. Cologne is famous for having really beautiful Christmas markets and not just one, but seven of them. And that is the reason why we decided to travel there the weekend that was one week before Christmas. We left there on Saturday morning very early because we had a Flix bus leaving at 9 a.m from Amsterdam. We have found the right bus and we also went through Starbucks as it was the only thing open and bought some breakfast. This bus ride is like four or five hours long. We will be arriving around one o'clock in Cologne. I hope this will be a relaxed journey. So we have arrived to our first Christmas market, but it's very close to our hotel, so that's why we decided to come here first. There you go. Thank you. We got this thing called alangos. We're really hungry. We haven't eaten since early in the morning. It's basically a deep fried dough with sour cream, garlic and cheese. What is it? I don't know what it's called. I don't know. It's, it's bread. a bread stick with it's cheese. <laughs> It looks very nice. So we have now checked into our hotel and it seems like a nice hotel. Very basic, but nice and clean. We've already seen now one Christmas market. There was one that was literally right next to the hotel. It's really close by our hotel, the one we just went to. You can even see it from our room. It's over there. There's still six more Christmas markets here that we haven't seen. And I think the one we are gonna start with is the one by the old town of Cologne that we passed while walking here. There is so much people here, it is crazy, you can barely walk. I was expecting a lot of people, but not this much. So it seems like there is an ice skating rink here, and all of these people are waiting to get to go ice skating soon.
So I have ordered this portion of mushrooms that came with like bread and a garlic sauce. I think there's like some onion in here and stuff. Let's try it. Mm, that's really good. It's hot. As you can see, it's steaming. just went through the old town Christmas market and yeah I was expecting it to be busy here but not on this scale it is crazy you can barely walk at most places to be fair it's only one week before Christmas so we probably chose the worst weekend to come but we have now arrived to the second or actually third Christmas market and this is the most famous one I think it's the one that's by the cathedral We have now escaped the super busy Christmas market, but we are currently walking to another Christmas market. But this one is slightly further away, so we're hoping that one's maybe a bit calmer. It's about a 15 minute walk from the cathedral there. We have arrived to one more Christmas market and this one seems at least slightly calmer. It's by the Rudolf Klein and it looks really cute. now arrive to what I believe is the last Christmas market for at least today. It's much further away from all the other Christmas markets so hopefully this one will be a calm one. I believe so. This one is in a park so that makes it a bit different. The other ones have been like on streets or at some kind of squares. But yeah it looks very cozy so let's check it out. As a bit of a dessert, I got this cinnamon bun with salted caramel sauce. I think it's warm, so let's try it. Mm. It's really, really good. So we have actually by accident stumbled upon the last Christmas market, the seventh Christmas market. Uh, we're on our way back to the hotel. We got here by accident now, so we might as well check it out while we're here. now arrived back to our hotel room we ended up going to all seven christmas markets today so we walked super much and it was a pretty cold day so we are very cold and tired now so happy to be back at the hotel room i'm sorry if it's a bit foggy the camera yeah as it was really cold outside even my camera <laughs> is a bit cold at the moment it seems like but yeah we're just going to be relaxing now and then tomorrow is a new day our bus back doesn't leave until 5 p.m in the evening so we have the full day still to explore Good morning. We are just about to leave the hotel room. Our plan is to still maybe see a bit of the Christmas markets today, but also do maybe a bit other things as well. Now our first plan is to visit the Chocolate Museum. And the Chocolate Museum is located right next to our hotel. So excited for that. 
We have just come to the Chocolate Museum. There's so much people here. I think this is probably the busiest weekend in Cologne all year. And first things first, we got some chocolate when arriving, so that's nice. Free chocolate also on the way out. For lunch we came to a very typical German restaurant and it's very cozy. <laughs> That's a lot of meat. <laughs> We are now back at the Christmas markets and you can actually walk here today. It is a hundred times better, much less people. The time of the year now, you got people falling in love. It brings you good cheer now, when the mistletoe is above. Can you sign up driving the sleigh? Or was it the Grinch and he got away? Cabins alone. So to wrap up the whole trip, the Christmas markets were really beautiful, but as you probably noticed, it was very, very crowded. It was the most crowded Saturday evening by the two most popular markets. So the one by the cathedral and then the one in the old town of Cologne. And there were moments where you were kind of stuck in between thousands of people just being pushed forward and you kind of just had to let the mass of people take you forward, which for me, as someone who's a bit claustrophobic, was not a very pleasant experience. To be honest, I don't really see how anyone could 
enjoy that. However, it got much, much better once we went to the Christmas markets that were a bit further away and they were also really beautiful, some of them even more beautiful. So if you go to Cologne, you should definitely check out also the other Christmas markets, not just the two most popular ones. Also, it got better the next day on Sunday. So if you are planning to visit Cologne Christmas markets maybe next year, I would recommend to go during the weekdays and not in the weekend if possible. And also I would believe it's maybe a bit better if you go like in the beginning of December instead of like one week before Christmas when everyone goes. But as a conclusion, I would say it was definitely worth a visit, although I would time it better next time. But other than that, it was really beautiful. The food was good. The city was nice. But I think that's it for this video. This will be my last video that I'm publishing this year. It'll be coming out around Christmas. And then my next video will be in the year of 2023 which is crazy. So I want to wish you all happy holidays, Merry Christmas if you celebrate it, a happy new year and yeah, thank you so much for being with me here. Let's make next year even better with even more adventures. Bye bye!